Hey everybody, welcome to Provost Park Pass. Today on Provost Park Pass, we're talking about all things Buena Vista Street. So Buena Vista Street is supposed to take place around the 1920s when Walt first moved to LA. When you first enter in, look at the buildings on the right hand side. That architecture is a Spanish architecture from the 1920s. On the left hand side, L for left, there you go. That is architecture from the 1920s Art Deco. So depending on which way you're looking at the street, you're gonna either see Spanish architecture or Art Deco architecture. Those Disney Imagineers always thinking of everything. So when you first come into Disney California Adventure, you will see Oswald's tires right here. This little character has so much cool history. It's mind blowing. Walt created Oswald when he was working at Universal and so Universal had the rights to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit so he couldn't claim that as his own property anymore. So what he did, he basically shortened the ears and created Mickey Mouse which we all know and love today. Now think about that though, if Universal hadn't done that when we would come to Disneyland we would be thinking of hey there's Oswald the Lucky Rabbit rather than Mickey Mouse. What? Anyways this character is very lovable. He was reintroduced to Disney Park in 2014. Welcome back Oswald, we love him. So, right there by the Oswald Tire Shop, you can see a 1937 Packard car. These cars are prestigious and everybody wanted them in the 1930s. Now you might be asking yourself, Chris, why a 1937 Packard? Well, that was the year that Snow White was released. That's right, Walt's first full-length feature film, Snow White, released in 1937. In order to celebrate that, we've got a 1937 Packard. So you have a store where you come in here, it's called the Los Feliz Five and Dime. Now the address on this place is 2628 Buena Vista Street. What's the significance of that number? Well in 1928, that's when Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse made their theatrical debut. What? There's so much history on Buena Vista Street, it's mind blowing. Mind blowing I tell you! So when you first come in here, you're going to see right on the right hand side, Mortimer's Market. Big, big M, Mortimer's. Here's some history behind the name Mortimer. Mortimer was the original name of Mickey Mouse. He called it Mortimer Mouse. But Walt's wife, Lily, she hated that name Mortimer. She told him to change it. And just like any good husband, he listened to his wife and came up with Mickey Mouse. Mortimer did appear in 1936 as Mickey Mouse's nemesis, Mortimer Mouse, the bad guy. Mortimer's Mar- <laughs> Mortimer's That's really hard. Mortimer's Market is where you come in, get some cold drinks, some nice snacks, some fresh fruit. It's where you got you just need a little, a little something something, but not a big heavy something something. You just want a little something something to eat? Come to Mortimer's Market. Mickey! Oh my gosh! <laughs> the big man himself, right there. Mickey Mouse. So that bridge you see when you first enter into Disney California Adventure, that is a replica, a small scale replica of the Hyperion Bridge that Walt lived by when he was living in Glendale, California. Okay, so when you first look at this window, you see a little name called Julius Katz. You think to yourself, what does that have to do with anything? Well, one of the very first characters that Walt worked on was a cat. And do you know what his name was? Julius. I don't know if there's any specific meaning to this, to 26, 38 and a half. I just like it, so boom, it's right there. If anybody can tell me why there's a half on that, I think that'd be really cool to know. One of the largest stores on Buena Vista Street is Elias & Company. So, the Elias Company is named after Walt's father, Elias. It's also Walt's middle name, Walt Elias Disney, but it doesn't end there. There's even more inside the store, come on. Right here inside Elias & Company, you can see a poster for Flora's beauty parlor. Flora, that's the name of Walt's mother. So the interior of the stores is all designed around the 1920s style. So for entertainment on right here on Buena Vista Street, sometimes you can catch the five and dimes. This is a singing, song, dancing, what are they? Okay, bye. Buena Vista Bugle was a newspaper that they would print and give out to guests for free. You do it randomly, so you never knew if you're going to get a newspaper or not. They haven't really done it for about two years now. But if you want to see some old remnants of the newspapers, you can in Mortimer's Market. There's a little ice cream place called Clarabelle Hand Scooped Ice Cream Shop. Clarabelle is one of Minnie's really good friends. Also, sometimes on again, off again love interest of Goofy. So I'm in the Fiddler, Pfeiffer, and Practical Cafe. 
That name comes from the three little pigs. Those are the three little pigs' names. They appeared in the 1933 cartoon, Silly Symphony. Inside the Fiddler, Pfeiffer, and Practical Cafe, you're gonna see some photos of a fictitious trio. Their names are Dottie, Dolly, and Ethel. They're known as the Silver Lake Sisters. Here's something really cool though. If you look at their little biography, their last name is Bounds. Bounds, that was Walt's mother's maiden name. Carthy Circle is a replica of the theater where Snow White debuted in 1937. That's why it says world premiere right there. Inside, on the lower level, is a lounge. It's super nice and very prestigious. And you can go walk around and get some appetizers and drinks and hors d'oeuvres. On the second level is this really, really nice restaurant. The restaurant requires reservations. You can get reservations on the Disneyland app or you can do them online. And they can do it up to 60 days in advance. Check out the Carthay Circle, it's amazing. One other really cool thing about Carthay Circle that most people don't realize is that it's 89 feet tall. 89 feet tall, that's 12 feet taller than Sleeping Beauty's Castle. Hey everybody, I'm here with Renee, and we're inside Carthay Circle, and he's got some cool things to tell you. So Carthay Circle, we do have a tour every day on my, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 10.30. More than welcome to come on through, and we'll give you a little uh, look around the entire restaurant, and maybe some hidden few secrets about us. One of the really cool things here in Buena Vista Street is the characters. They have characters walking around. Let's go meet some of them. Officer Blue. Hello. Hello. Have you met our friends? Today we're talking all about Buena Vista Street and specifically characters like Officer Blue. And Donna Lindelaria, our yes. town mayor. Well, hello, town mayor. I'm not respectable. Oh, well, thank you. Since you know what you're doing, Chris, yes. I have to cite you for judicious preparedness prior to prodigious exploration. Whoa, that's a mouthful. I have to shake your hand so it's official. Thank you. Look at that. Thank you, Officer Blue. You're very welcome. So a really cool fact here in Buena Vista Street is right as you're exiting it out almost into Hollywood land, but not quite, is this popcorn cart. It's an homage to the 1920s Silver Limited train. That's why it's silver and kind of looks sleek. This statue is called Storytellers. It's Walt and Mickey arriving to California about to achieve all of their dreams. And you, you can achieve all of your dreams too. Yes, you can. Who do you like better, Woody or Buzz? Well, that's a trick question, uh, so I'm going to say hello. Like <laughs> on Buena Vista Street, there's one attraction that you can ride. That's the red trolley cars. The reason they have the red trolley cars is because in the 1920s, these crisscrossed all over LA. Now, some really interesting facts about these cars. There's two cars on this line. There's the 600 series and the 700 series, which is exactly authentic to the 1920s. The number is 623. That represents the year 1923. That's when Walt came to LA. The other trolley car is 717. That represents for you Disney aficionados, July 17th. That's the day that Disneyland opened in 1955, right across the street there. So one really cool thing, I hope I don't ruin the, the illusion of the red trolley cars, is you know the power line that goes across that powers the red trolley? That's not a real power line. It's just a facade to make it look like a power car, like an electric uh, trolley car. Though that would be dangerous. So that's just a facade. It's not run by that power line. So depending on which way you're going on the red trolley car, there can be either three or four stops. There is Buena Vista Street, there's Carthay Circle, there's Hollywood Boulevard, and Sunset Boulevard. So depending on which way you're going. And when you're on the red trolley, a lot of times they'll tell some jokes. Like I just heard one about a rave at Disney. Junior. Tell the joke. Oh, the joke was, um, the, uh, they, Disney Junior, they get rave reviews. Why does Cinderella not play soccer? Because her coach is a pumpkin. <laughs> and she always runs away from the ball. You can use that one. Do you know what uh, Belle's favorite restaurant is? Taco Bell. Uh, what did, what did uh, Snow White say when she's waiting for her photos? Someday my prince will come. <laughs> All right, so let's get this baby up to 88 miles an hour. Let's see what happens. What's the maximum speed that we go? Four miles per hour. Four miles an hour. Coming up in front of us is award winners. Known for having the best winner in a supporting role. If you don't get that joke, I'll let you catch up. 
I'm sorry, my jokes are really cheesy. I'm honestly the worst. The brought worst. Yeah. May you relish these jokes. I just got off the red trolley car and sometimes, if you're lucky, they will give you the red trolley ticket. All right, everybody, this is Tony. Say hey hi, guys. Tony. Hey, what's up, guys? He, his favorite Provost Park Fest video is the Toontown one. The best roller coaster to start them on is the Goofy Go Coaster. I had to stop and say hi. It was so awesome. I'm so glad you did, Tony. Thanks I'm so glad much. To meet you. Well, I hope you guys learned something new about Buena Vista Street. This place really plays homage to Walt Disney and all those little secret hidden things they've done for him. And I really appreciate that. I think that's just great. If I missed something about Buena Vista Street that you know that I didn't talk about, put it in the comments down below and I'll talk about it in a future video. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right here. Click that little button right there. Oh wait, go ahead and click on subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. We got a new video here, one here, and one here. And every week we got a new video on Provost Park Pass. Thanks guys, have a great week.